Good morning guys and in this video we're going to talk about why it is correct to say Bitcoin Core and why it's incorrect to say Bitcoin Core sometimes. So if you watch this channel you know that I'm often using the word Bitcoin Core. When I'm talking about the technological advancements of Bitcoin I'm saying Bitcoin Core. When I'm talking about the development team I'm saying Bitcoin Core. When I'm talking about the GitHub repository I'm saying Bitcoin Core repository and it is completely correct to say so but some people in the comment section whenever I say Bitcoin Core lose their mind and are typing Ivan, you should never call Bitcoin Bitcoin Core. Uh, it is Bitcoin and should not be called Bitcoin Core. And they are missing the point. They're completely misunderstanding the situation. And it's all about uh, lack of education. Lack of education about what a protocol is, lack of education, what an implementation of the protocol is. And I've covered this topic various times. I mean, many times I've said why it is correct for me to say Bitcoin Core, but still people are not getting it. And therefore I want to make this separate video that I can refer people to and say, hey, if you don't understand, just look there. And basically in this video, you will learn what a protocol is, what an implementation of the protocol is, and why in some cases it is correct to say Bitcoin Core, but also why in some cases people are saying Bitcoin Core in the wrong way. They are misusing the word and they're trying to confuse people. So there is such an element as well, but uh, we need to explain it and we need to go through it step by step. So let's get into it. First of all, what we need to understand is what a protocol is. So let me choose a black color right here. And a protocol is a blueprint. So for example, Bitcoin is, uh, you know, Bitcoin actually is a word that has so many meanings. I mean, Bitcoin is a protocol, Bitcoin is a network, Bitcoin is a currency. There are all these meanings, but Bitcoin at its core, it is a protocol. It is a protocol. What does it mean? It's a very scary word for many people who are not in technology, but it is basically a blueprint of uh, how computers communicate with each other. So we're basically defining different rules, we define um, different standards for how communication uh, between co computers should look like. And there are many different protocols. For example, there is TCP. So another example is like TCP protocol that defines how computers should communicate over the internet. It's a blueprint. And then there are so-called implementations, but we will get into impl implementations later. J let's just focus on protocol. So protocol is a blueprint. Pl protocol can be written on a paper. I mean, I can write it in a PDF. It, it has nothing to do with the code. If, you, if you're just thinking about the protocol, the protocol is just the theoretical concept. So think about the idea of Bitcoin as being the protocol where we define, basically we use uh, our minds to define how computers should communicate with each other in order to have this decentralized network of currency. We're just describing it on paper. We're not programming it. We, we haven't begun programming yet. The programming side is somewhere there. Now we're only talking about the idea phase. So when we are in the idea phase, when we are in the phase where we say how we want to build things, where we define how computers should communicate with each other, that is when we're working on the protocol. It is a lot of theory. So theory is the important word here. It's a the theory theory we're discussing how should this be built okay so that is what a protocol is it's a blueprint for how things should communicate with each other uh, now now what what is a good example of that well the white paper the white paper defines the protocol it uh, outlines on paper how bitcoin should work and so then you and i we can take that white paper and we can build a program that follows the rules in that white paper. And so when we sit down and we build this program based on the blueprint, that is the protocol, we build a software based on the protocol, we build an implementation because we implement the protocol. We build our own implementation. So let's say that you and I, we sit down and we implement the Bitcoin protocol. Basically, we take a look at the white paper and together we build the program that is outlined in the white paper and we call it Ivan Bitcoin. Like we call our implementation Ivan Bitcoin because, you know, this is Ivan on tech channel and we are sitting together and we're building uh, this Bitcoin uh, implementation. It's called Ivan Bitcoin. Some other people, let's say, for example, box mining. 
Box mining also takes the blueprint, box mining takes the protocol, and he learns how to program and he builds his own implementation called Box Bitcoin. So you see, these programs, they follow the same protocol, they communicate with each other in exactly the same way, they can talk to each other, they're part of the same network. So in the network now, what you have is that you have some nodes that have box mining Bitcoin right here. And then you have other nodes that run Ivan Bitcoin right here. And then, you know, maybe Data Dash also implements the Bitcoin protocol and Data Dash uh, will have his own nodes right here. And you see, this is a network of computers and because they follow the same protocol, they can talk to each other. So it's all the same network. Everyone is talking with each other because everyone is using the same protocol and the communication happens between all the different implementations. So you see, we have several different implementations of the same protocol. Now, we might have been using different programming language. Maybe this is a C++ implementation. Maybe this is a Python implementation. Maybe, you know, Datadash wrote his in Java or something. Like, it doesn't matter. What language you choose does not matter as long as you follow the rules and as long as your software communicates through the network with other nodes in the same way. Because if I'm a node right here, I don't care what language the other node is implemented in. I only care about how they communicate with me, what kind of messages I receive and what kind of messages I send. That is the only thing I care about. I mean, the last thing I care about is how exactly this particular node operates and nodes like Ivan Bitcoin nodes, you know, this... Uh, uh, pink nodes right here, they will no, not even recognize that other nodes are uh, different implementations. I mean, most probably there is some kind of information that tells which implementation it is, but theoretically it shouldn't matter. The nodes should not care about which other implementations they talk to, because this is a network that implements the same protocol. So if we now remove our silly names like uh, Ivan Coin, Ivan Bitcoin and Box Bitcoin, what you have in Bitcoin is a, an implementation called Bitcoin Core. So this is the most popular implementation of the Bitcoin protocol. I mean, guys, we're talking about BTC and Bitcoin Core is one of the implementations. So it is a team of developers that develops the Bitcoin Core implementation of the protocol. But then you also have other implementations. Here's a list of them. For example, you have, uh, uh, Bitcoin Core right here, and you see that it is a uh, full, uh, you know, full network security, basically that you have your uh, full blockchain and you need the 120 gigabyte of storage to download it and to, to run it. But then there are others. I mean, you look at all of these different implementations, many of them are not even active. I mean, th th this is a historic record of all of them because you realize that some teams, they uh, do not support their wallet anymore. They're not supporting their implementation anymore. But then you have like Bitcoin D, for example, it is also a full node. You also need 120 uh, gigabytes of storage. And so what you have is that you have bit different implementations of... Uh, the protocol. So you have Bitcoin Core, you have Bitcoin D, and then you might have others as well. So when I'm referring to a particular implementation of Bitcoin, uh, I'm referring to this particular Bitcoin Core implementation. And we're still talking about BTC. I mean, this is why the word Bitcoin is so, is, it has so many meanings, because Bitcoin means the protocol, but within BTC. There are so many implementations and this is the, you know, most popular implementation. Basically everyone is using it. Uh, it's called Bitcoin Core, but it is an implementation. Now you have a similar situation with Bitcoin Cash. So you have the BCH uh, coin and they have their own protocol. Let me actually remove this text and this color. They have their own protocol. Let me also draw a line here. Uh, they have their own protocol and also they have their own implementation. So for example, you have Bitcoin ABC, which is an implementation of uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, uh, protocol. You have uh, Bitcoin Unlimited, which is also an implementation. And so you see, it's all about what you're talking about. In my videos, I'm often referring to the Bitcoin Core uh, repository. I'm often referring to the Bitcoin Core implementation. So it is completely correct to say Bitcoin Core in that sense, if you're referring to a particular implementation. M much like 
when you're referring to a particular Bitcoin Cash implementation, you might say Bitcoin ABC. And it's not like people in Bitcoin Cash will start yelling at you, you know, why are you calling Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin ABC? Because it's completely correct to call it that. It, it's an implementation of the protocol, the same as Bitcoin Unlimited. Uh, so when people are yelling at me that I'm using Bitcoin Core when I'm talking about implementation, it's like if I said Bitcoin Unlimited and Bitcoin Cash people would yell at me, you know, Ivan, you shouldn't be calling Bitcoin Unlimited, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Unlimited, because it's Bitcoin Cash. But like, I'm talking about an implementation, not the coin itself. Now, that being said, I hope you understand what a protocol is and what implementations are. And by the way, here are a few implementations of Bitcoin Cash. You have Bitcoin ABC, you have Bitcoin Unlimited, you have some other BXT. I don't, I don't even know this, but the most popular ones are Bitcoin ABC, Bitcoin Unlimited. Uh, but something else important is that uh, there is a movement that, yes, in fact, tries to call BTC... Uh, Bitcoin Core. And in my view, this is incorrect. Like, th this is not correct way to call BTC. If you're calling the whole coin Bitcoin Core, this is incorrect. Uh, if you're calling an implementation, an implementation Bitcoin Core, it is correct because that is what they're calling themselves. I mean, if you go to GitHub, you go to GitHub Bitcoin uh, repository, I mean, you see, they're calling themselves Bitcoin Core. This is the completely correct definition if you're referring to the implementation. If you're referring to the whole currency as Bitcoin Core, it is incorrect because there is no such currency as Bitcoin Core. There is Bitcoin and there is Bitcoin Core implementation of Bitcoin, okay? The huge difference, huge difference. And the, this is where you see a lot of Bitcoin Cash people trying to, you know, rename Bitcoin to Bitcoin Core and I think it is wrong like it's definitely wrong and it is only toxic like people trying to rename the whole project to Bitcoin Core and it will never work it's not working and therefore it's uh, it's just a waste of time but you see that Bitcoin Core developers are calling themselves Bitcoin Core so so it is completely correct to call the implementation Bitcoin Core anyway guys I hope you understood I hope you learned something that is the most important thing of course as always uh, and I hope you know a bit more about protocols and implementations and why different implementations are called differently and why it's completely correct to say Bitcoin Core if it is the case that you're talking about the Bitcoin Core repository guys thank you so much for watching see you tomorrow smash the like if you haven't and have a great great day enjoy your tomorrow is tuesday i'm pre-recording it enjoy your tuesday have a great day and goodbye guys goodbye goodbye